If your material jams in your guy bushing, it'll wind up looking like this. <laughs> Buying ground stock is really expensive, so today I'm gonna show you a few ways to get around that. This is the material that jammed in the thread rolling video you guys might have seen. Now if I put it through the guy bushing I used in that video, you'll notice it's super tight. And that's because these guy bushings come really close to size, which is more likely to jam up than hard inches guy bushings. So if I put the hard inch guy bushing on here, what? it'll fall. And that's because they open it up to a bigger size, which is actually really convenient because if you don't buy ground stock, it'll probably come a little oversized. If it does, it'll fit in this guide bushing no problem. It won't jam as quick. Super. On the hard inch guide bushing, I can drop this pin in. I can go to 502. That'll fit in no problem. And I can go all the way up to 503 on the hard inch guide bushing and show you that it just fits snug. The second you go and look at ground stock, your material cost is gonna triple immediately. If you can get away with running regular stock, you're gonna save yourself a bunch of money. You should really consider options like this. Running in non-guide bushing mode and using hard inches work holding because it'll allow you to run non-ground material a lot easier than other companies. 